I've been involved with CPO, or Community Partnerships of the Ozarks, since about 1996. They helped me in so many ways. I was a single mom, young, to get assistance or help or even know how to start. CPO helped me find those ways. Here at the O'Reilly Center of Hope, we have the ERA, which is the Emergency Rental Assistance, and they're helping with anything, anybody that's displaced or almost displaced because of COVID, if it's COVID related. Found myself without a job for the first time in 20 some years. It was very scary to do. I didn't know where to go, what to do, you know. I, all of a sudden my income stopped and so I had to re-enter back into some services and assistance. I just cried because I didn't know what to do. They have pretty much just saved us. I mean, they have helped me with my rent and my utilities. Um, CPO has another program that have helped me with a few other resources. And a couple months later, there was a position that I applied for it. And so now I'm employed for CPO. Um, and I can get the word out about different things. So, and there's so many things available that I wish I would have known and I didn't because I didn't know to ask. I'm so grateful to the CPO, the uh, O'Reilly Center for Hope. Um, everybody's been nice, they've been understanding. It's been an emotional experience. I do remember before receiving my first paycheck in a long time, uh, we were at the store getting groceries, limited amount of money, and so I told my daughter, I said, just, you know, let's pick out just for tonight, I'm supposed to get paid. And about that time, my phone made a noise and my check hit my bank account. And I just stopped and cried. I'm gonna do it again. We're in the middle of Walmart having this major celebration because, I mean, I never knew it would be such a tough thing. To be able to be here to help other people and to also know what some of them are going through is a big deal. And we came here on a whim, lived in the car for, what? It's a, it's a minute, weeks. And, you know, we were trying to set up unemployment, but because we had moved, we didn't have a permanent address. And we came in that morning. They were like, we have laundry, showers. Okay, we'll do that, absolutely. And that's when we got with Todd. That's Todd said, okay, well, you you qualify for this. Special funding for people that can't be in shelters. And he opened the door for that, for us to land our feet in the hotel for a solid month or two. Todd had hooked us up with the person that would come twice Bring a week food. with groceries. He said that our only homework was getting a job. We, we were finally at a place where we felt like we weren't running in circles. We used one door for uh, address, We had a permanent for mailing, address right. for our taxes, our stimulus. It made us realize the major life changes that we hadn't been able to deal with. And at that point, it was when Burrell was suggested. Mm -hmm. He said, take a deep breath. You guys can rest, you can relax, yeah. regroup. And I remember sitting in that office and bursting into tears because I felt like we hadn't been able to rest. Right. Like we had just been spinning circles. So so now we do um, therapy through Burl. We, we have their resources. And once we really got the ball rolling with that, that's where the it, it all changed. Like, and Todd was like, you okay. find this place, go check it out. Pam ended up letting us move in a week. We found a one bedroom place. Yeah. She said, I just want to get you out of that hotel. So I called the electric company, yep. paid the deposit for that. Then because it was a one bedroom and it was so cheap, what was it, two months? The deposit was paid for the house and two months of rent. The, the system works if you work it. I and think it's important to understand that the one door in the O'Reilly Center is not, it's not a handout. No, this is the number one place for you to come if you're ready to do the change in your life.